and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Kalia and friends on this 12 hour stream. Our MCQ earlier didn't go so well, so we are playing some really fun decks here on this Saturday. As you can see the lineup on the left, we got a lot of good ones and this is one of my favorite decks to play. Kalia Zenith Seeker has an awesome animation. This new M20 Mythic has an awesome animation and it rewards you for playing a bunch of angels, demons, and dragons. What's cooler than that? Playing angels, demons, and dragons. So that's what we got going on here. Um, Embodiment of Agonies, the last time that we played this, looked really good and we've played Embodiment of Agonies in a couple other decks. That's been honestly a pretty impressive rare and an underrated card here in M20. So we got a second one. We only had one last time, so we got a second one in here. And uh, yeah, that's that's kind of our deck. We just got our angels at the top end. Uh, we got a few demons with our four demons, and we got a couple hell kites to get a couple dragons in here as well. Um, Tithe Taker has been really impressive as a two drop. I like this card more than Bishop of Wings. Bishop of Wings, while it, it's you know it lets you gain like basically Bishop of Wings is really good against mono red, but it's not really any good against any other deck. The one four body just never never you know like it's not big enough to matter. You know, attacking for one doesn't doesn't matter against control decks or combo decks or anything else. Um, Tithe Taker though can can attack for two, which is twice as much, which is a whole lot better. Um, and uh, it has the afterlife, so like whenever they kill it, and then there's there are a good amount of decks that are trying to play instants, and so making those things cost more. Uh, especially like counterspell decks are really good against this kind of deck, so making those counterspells cost more is useful. But yeah, we got a lot of good things here. You know, we get to play Blood Sun and Legion's End, which is really nice, being able to play both of those cards. Um, and then, of course, Clarion does a good job uh, against aggro decks as well. So we have a lot of like little, a lot of like cool cards in this deck. A lot of good things that we're doing on to doing here. So let's go ahead and try out some Kalia and Friends. Let's play a league. Hey, Mr. 30. And let's see how we do. Yeah, the, the first time that we played the deck, we had four Bishop of Wings. And then I went down to like, but then it just, it was just really bad. And so I, I took out a couple, played a couple uh, Tithe Takers and tried it like that. And the Bishop of Wings were still just bad. And so we just replaced them. Let's have a white kitty. Our black cat did pretty good for mono black. We'll go with the white cat here for our angel deck. It's not really just an angel deck, though. You know, we're an angel, demon, and dragon deck, as you can see by our hand. If you have Shalai with other creatures, three toughness, does Clarion wipe the smaller creatures on your side? Yes. Yeah, Shalai does not protect the damage being dealt to your creatures. Keep an open mind. G. Gurk. With the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, GG. I really appreciate that. Our ninth subscriber of the day. Okay, so I can either get Resplendent Angel in play, or I can make them sacrifice Narset. the The problem with the problem with playing Resplendent Angel is it's really weak to Lightning Strike, to Red Removal. The problem with playing Angrass Rampage is they could then drop a Deafening Clarion. Wow, I don't know why I said Deafening Clarion. A Crackling Drake. <laughs> they could then drop a Crackling Drake, which would be difficult to deal with. I'm going to go with the Rampage, though. Oh, 
So a Ralph combo deck. Well, it's not like we could save the Rampage to deal with... It's not like we could save the Rampage to deal with the Ral because the Narset would still just be there and then they would still be able to sacrifice the Narset. I wonder what the weather's like on Ixalan. Darn, we're definitely hoping for a fifth land. Uh, nothing feels broken. It's it's the best way to on embodiment of agonies until it's you know like out of burn spell range and everything because other stuff's dead. Guild mage, planeswalker, genius inventor, I got it all. So this deck is filled with powerful medium big creatures. Kalia gives good, good card advantage, but that's not usually what this kind of deck needs, right? Actually, that's exactly what this kind of deck needs. Usually the deck's filled with, with powerful medium big creatures. Don't, they don't have card advantage, and so they lose to decks that just have efficient removal for the creatures. So card advantage is exactly what a deck like this needs. Come on. Exactly what these kind of decks are missing. And so that's why that's why Kalia does a good job. Because you Decks filled with efficient hunt. removal like sweepers. That's what it really struggles with. So card advantage is the or maybe not the, but a solution. No. Bishop of Wings is not any good. Yet again, we talked already. People keep asking about that card, but we started with four of that card and took them out for tight takers because it was just really, really weak. But putting it with Dawn of Hope, it's still just really slow and weak. I'd rather just be playing like Planeswalkers, but Planeswalkers and Standard are really good. Today, I craft my victory. So they have to do this now, because otherwise um, they wouldn't be able to play it because the two tight takers that don't let them play instance on my turn. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just Legion's End these tokens so that we get to kill Rao. That's going to be difficult to beat. Explosion for five. It's going to be difficult to beat. So now they can only explosion for four. I could Hellkite haste and attack Sahili, but then they only get they still get to explosion for four and kill Hellkite. That forces them to use it on four, though, and not not activate as Kanta.
Hmm. Yeah, that was their plan, just to activate as Kanta. Yeah. It's a little surprising they didn't just do it before the Hellkite resolved. Maximus! Getting that gifted sub from 619. Thanks, 619. That is another sub goal. We are working towards the next 12 hour stream right now with these sub goals. And working pretty hard. Um, hey, Blue Legend. You are amazing as well. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. So I could play one thing into the Ionize, or I can double spell. Double spelling does mean I need to shock. I'm going to play the Doom Whisperer into it. I'm going to just let them trade off the Doom Whisperer here. All right, so let's check how we're doing there. So I, I do a 12-hour stream every tw every 20 sub goals that we hit total. Uh, we've been racking up before. We've already at seven, so that's we just hit another one. So that's sub goal number eight. So we are getting we're closing in on halfway to another 12-hour stream during our 12-hour stream here. We may have another one like you know in a week or two. Y'all are amazing. Thank you so much, everybody. So close. We are two points away there. If I would have, you know, I didn't attack with the, them with the Tithe Taker earlier when they had the Sahili out because I didn't want the Tithe Taker to get blocked by the little 1-1. One -one. But if I would have made that attack, you know, it, it turned out that they didn't have anything. And if I would have made that attack, we would have dealt two damage. And then we could have had lethal here with the Hellkite. But yeah, usually one explosion leads to another when they're drawing all those cards. Aw, oh, thanks, Maximus. Alright, so let's play a whole bunch of duresses. Let's play an Awakened Inferno. Let's get these Gideons in here. And take out Clarion, Legion's End, Cast Downs, Resplendent Angel. Like, Resplendent Angel can do the whole life gain thing. It's also, like, playing three threes against the Lightning Strike deck. Don't love it. Get to Spark in here also. Did just up the curve, though. Don't really need a Mortify. I guess Mortify kills as Kanta, and if they have whatever creature. Um, yeah, I... I, I, <clears throat> I didn't go with Grixis because I was really... Wor like, I didn't think Grixis... I think Grixis has a really hard time beating the green decks. And so I was worried about that, so that's why I didn't play Grixis. Alright, got a slower hand, but that's okay. I like that we get a hit land drop. Soren seems to be really good in this matchup. 
So does Dawnbringer. Duress is really good too, though. All right, double Rowl. Kind of want to take the Opt. Yeah, I want to take the Opt. Yeah, I don't. I don't regret my deck choice at all. I. I actually. I mean, I like. I actually liked my deck choice. Um, we played against a lot of aggro. And. I mean, that's all we played. We just played three aggro decks. And I had the Team Elemental deck tuned towards aggro. Obviously, could have been harder to tune towards aggro, but we were. Um, we were two draw steps away from winning one of the. One of the matches. I tried my best. Kalia. They're they're able to double cast the opt with the row, and you know playing the narset takes their whole turn and everything there. Um, so this should just be a counter spell. I'll let them counter this embodiment so we can get embodiment back with the Soren. And Narsa just you know takes a whole lot of mana, takes like their whole turn up instead of opt, which doesn't. All right, but I do not want to play either of these cards into just a very obvious counter spell. So we'll just keep attacking for three. That's a good card. You can play that. I guess I should just play that main phase, though, because then if I play Soren, I get the lifelink. Because that's a card I don't mind getting countered. And they don't counter it, so I just say, okay. Play my land, keep playing. They're just not playing anything. They just want to keep their counter spell up really bad. Looks like we're going to game three. Oh, they have negate as well. Hey, what's up, Elder 2? Thanks for the sub there. Keeping on your seven month resub there. I appreciate that. Yeah, so we got, we're playing some Mardu Angels here, and we're going to game number three. See if we can take an Ascanta from him. 
pretty sure they should just be holding the opt and that I won't be choosing opt. Well, I guess, I guess maybe they think I'm choosing opt. We'll take that. This isn't the best for us, like with how these, you know, three threes do die to lightning strike. They get to lightning strike and then untap and play Ral on an empty battlefield. Not the best for us. No, Soren, Despark, Gideon. Those are cards I want. Every problem has a solution. A start, it all built up to this. That's a good one. That doesn't just die to lightning strike. We can obviously minus the Ral though and copy a lightning strike. When a storm sea washes the I don't think I'm attacking Ral, considering they have a backup Ral, and Ral has just infinite loyalty. I think I'm supposed to just attack them. So we played two Kalias and neither one hit an angel. One hit a demon, one hit a dragon. We have mostly all angels. may die, you know, any turn to the combo. That's just how it is. This deck's basically all rares and mythics. I don't know how expensive it is, like, in paper. But it's probably not too cheap. It's basically just all rares and mythics. <laughs> We have like duress. Like, that's not a rare. A planes. Combo is just a cheap spell. You know, like an opt or a lightning strike or something. Any cheap spell and then casting two expansions. If they have, Mage, if they have an expansion, inventor, copying an expansion, they can just continue to copy it over and over. And each time that they copy it, Ral deals one damage to me. So they have to have a spell on the stack first to copy with the first expansion and then cast a second expansion. And that's an infinite combo. So they need two expansions and any spell. Senshi Jen. Welcome to the channel. So thank you, Santa619. And now, as being a subscriber, you not only get the awesome tie bar, but you get the access to all the emotes, including the hype boats for whenever you get other subscribers. Don't have a demon on the battlefield, but Kalia is fighting alongside an angel and a dragon. We got the demons in hand. Perfect. All right, picking up a win. One no.
Hey, what's up, Kitty Dexterity? Winning at one life counts the same as winning at 20 life. True. Ah. Uh, thanks, Kitty. The it's it's easier. Yeah, the No, it didn't. I would not say that the Elementals deck flamed out hard. That would not really be an accurate statement of what happened with MCQ. Yeah, our deck our deck just has lots of three mana removal. We have the one Mortify in here because we've got to be able to kill enchantment somehow. But I guess that's why we don't have the Devils. We just don't don't want the other more three mana removal. And so we got Rampage for Planeswalkers. Rampage is not great against Tamiyo, though. All right, we'll see if we're able to fly over a bunch of zombies and elementals. Going to need to keep Mortify for Cavalier Thorns. That card is certainly a thorn in the ability to play flying creatures. Yeah, our last opponent said good game because the game was over. Yeah, they were expecting us to attack, and they're like, we were swinging for lethal, and so they were saying good game, and they're just playing their last couple of spells for fun. But those spells didn't, you know, like they didn't actually do anything with those. But they showed they had they had two part they had they had the two e expansions. So they actually had the combo with Rao, but they just did, needed one cheap spell on the stack to be able to cast him and they didn't have that cheap spell on the stack. And uh, worst case scenario for us, we do have Cavalier Thorns and another Risen Reef to go along with it. Not looking good for us. We go Doom Whisperer here. Look for like a, a Clarion or Legion's End, you know, kind of something like that, like where I can um, maybe play something with Mortify. Guild of the Dead is just free and it's very good. Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. Like, their deck's just filled with good cards, and just by having Field of the Dead in their deck, they just have five 2-2s two that they didn't have to spend any spells on.
down, 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 down. I guess I could keep that. Looking for Deafening Clarion. So they can get Assassin's Trophy back by chump blocking with the Cavalier Thorns here. Our time together is finished. So they'll get they get Assassin's Trophy back, which is rough. I'm assuming it's Assassin's Trophy. Could be something else, though. So Blast Zone blows up the Doom Whisperer and the Dawnbringer. Trophy can kill something. I mean, like, surveilling here doesn't really matter because of Trophy, unless we find something we really want to keep. Like, keeping Resplendent Angel is really nice. Oh, they had another Yurok. Yeah, 
Yeah, Arena's been really bad performance-wise today. Um, I think it's because because of all the people on for the MCQ, I think. But yeah, basically all day Arena's been really bad. And that's what, that's what earlier, that's what people were saying, is that they were, were having trouble with it as well. Oh yeah, it's it's yeah, it's probably the whole stream. Also, but like arena lagging causing like the rest of the stream to lag kind of thing. Um yeah, I went with earlier I went one and one against mono red and lost to vampires. The vampire match was really close. I made a mistake and then because of that my opponent had Two draws to draw Soren to kill me, and they did. You know, like where they're top decking, and a Soren kills me if they don't draw Soren in two draws. I'm I get to stabilize, but they had one. Those disfigures. All right, we got to find Lyra. Okay. More Clarions. Let's take out these Rampages. Take out Cast Downs. Tithe Taker seems like it doesn't really matter. I gotta trim like threes and up. And so maybe I just take out a couple Kalias because of Clarion. And like, if I, because if I'm not taking out Kalia, I'm just taking out. Angels or demons, which are going to make Kalia worse, also. I don't know. The lifelink from Soren can really help you win, plus the minus ability, but I could trim one Soren, I suppose. Soren's pretty awesome. Yeah, if Kalia would be able to search for herself, she would she would certainly be better. <sighs> yeah, I have Chandra for the zombies. I guess yeah, she's not good against the elementals, but I have her for the zombies, and also her ability to take out a. Like that, cast down gets rid of Risen Reef, but her ability to get get rid of like a Planeswalker or something. But yeah, I I could see not having Chandra in here.
Well, now I wish I had Cast Down that they're going to have. I was thinking, like, well, we're going to be playing Resplendent, then they play Cast Down, then we play Shalai. Or, sorry, we play Resplendent, then, then they play Risen Reef. Sorry. Uh, then we're like, going to keep going, like, where we didn't really have a good spot for the Cast Down. But good, they don't have Risen Reef, so everything's kind of good. Except for they're going to be able to play a 5 drop on turn 3. But we have a really good curve of Angel, Shalai, Angel, like, you know, Angel, Angel, Angel here. Where them not having removal means we get to trigger Resplendent on turn 5. I can't play Dawnbringer and attack. I could Dispark or play Dawnbringer. And mana wise, it seems to make more sense just to play Dawnbringer and sit back on defense for a turn. At least their auto tap tapped all their black sources. Nope, they got another black source now. Darn it. I follow the tracks of the wise. Bleh. Ooh, okay. Cause yeah, I definitely wanted to spark this thing and then attack Tamio. That gives me a blocker. Because I didn't. I was one short of activating Resplendent Angel. Oh, right. That thing's got reach. Well, still just parking the Cavalier Thorns is the thing to do. They just get to tick up on Tamiyo for a turn. Hopefully, to miss. Library. Hopefully, miss. Hooray, missed. And got rid of two Field of the Deads. So that's nice. They should definitely be attacking. Can't do that and activate Resplendent. Hmm. I think activating Resplendent is more valuable. This sets it up so that we just kill them next turn. I have learned all I can here. And then we also don't really... So, like, hopefully they just draw a land here. We don't really even have to show them Blood Sun. Well, they're sitting there thinking about it. 
Could be a good sign, could be a bad sign. Yeah, I don't know why the the flying animation is bugged and the flying tokens don't show that they have flying. I I don't think our opponent's playing Scape Shift. I don't I don't think they have Scape Shift in their deck. This isn't a Scape Shift deck. This is just a Sultai Elementals that has Field of the Dead kind of thing. As far as I know. So should I play Soren instead of Chandra? Um, no, I'm going to play Chandra. Chandra also gets to exile. can exile Cavalier of Thorns with Chandra. Let's try this again. Or do I want... Actually, maybe I want, maybe I want two Kalia, one Embodiment of Agonies. I don't know. Embodiment can be really big. Well, let's see how we do with a couple Clarions. Clarions can uh, wipe out those beasts quite well. Guess we'll have cast down here, because if they if they have Cavalier Thorns, we want to be able to cast down it in response to the trigger, so they don't get anything back. Good, no, no Tamiyo, nothing. Good sign. Certainly need to be worried about this Field of Ruin, though. I don't have a basic mountain. So Field of Ruining the Blood Crypt, and, and I don't, it's not like I'm playing other. That's a terrible draw. Against the the Assassin's Trophy Field of Ruin deck, we really do not like the worst possible draw in our deck there, like the basic lands. I have no idea why Shifting Ceratops is in their deck, honestly. Well, like not in their 75, but in this matchup. Like they board in. Alright, good. We got a second red source. Do they board in Shifting Ceratops against me? Because it, it says it has reach? I can't quite figure it out myself. Oh, you're welcome, Ewan. Glad you're liking the Rotation Proof videos.
So I think I'm going to double Clarion this next turn. Kills your rock also. So then do I want a Legion's End? I guess it'd be nice to eventually have a Legion's End. Okay, that's good. I'd rather have the Lyra if one gets shuffled away from Field of Ruin. Of course, they could just shuffle them both away, though. But they shuffle them both away. I guess I won't have double Clarion now, actually, because the red source. Actually, so this is kind of a problem. We only get to Clarion once. We don't get to kill your rock. Yeah, that's a little bit of a problem. If we draw another red land, Chandra can kill your rock. If I do go Chandra, kill your rock. Then Chandra dies. Nothing good. Alright, we're just trading. I really need to get this Yurok out of here. I'm getting those multiple zombies every single turn. I really just need to get that out of there. Plus, any time they draw like a Risen Reef or anything. Yeah, it just has to die. Oh, I love that. Yeah, they're not going after Chandra because they don't know that we have life gain. Oh man, I love that too. Hope it's not too hot for you. I love that too. Let's get this life link in here though. How the turns have tabled. Wow. There we go. Boom. 2 and 0 oh for Kalia and friends. <laughs> yeah, those are really good draws. 
Our opponent's draws, not so much. Not so much. Bum, bum. We already played the qualifier, as you can see on the left hand side there. We went one and two with Teamer Elementals. Thanks, Bibonio. And that's why I had Chandra in the game, though. Chandra took out the Iraq. Chandra did her job. Drawing that other red source was really beneficial. Knight of the Ebon Legion. Thanks, camels. That's really kind of you. Thank you so much. Um, honestly, I, ha I don't really know very much about the uh, specific um, requirements with the pro league changes and stuff. I, I honestly don't. I haven't really read that that thing, so I don't know very much about that. So I don't have a, a great answer of. Of anything about that. Bad Thief of Sanity. Bad. Down to twelve. Think I want to mortify this turn. Yeah, I want to mortify this turn. Dang, the opponent was supposed to attack with the Knight of the Ebon Legion also, and then I block, and then they activate Knight, and then I Mortify. They didn't do that. The immortal Nicopolis. So they're down to... Uh, they're down to ten? I'm going to attack them for six here. Or I can kill Nicol Bolas. Probably supposed to just kill Nicol Bolas. Because, like, if I just attack, if I just put them down to four. Then Bolas just kills Hellkite, and then they have Phoenix and this other stuff, and I can't get I can't get to Bolas, and then we just lose. Awesome new. Glad to hear that. Hope you're gonna hope you're enjoying magic. 
Yeah, I don't I don't know the exact list I'm gonna be playing for the Golgari Stompy deck later on. Huh. I don't know the exact list right now. <laughs> no fire, no steel. This is good Grixis, just all threats. This is a good Grixis list. Phoenix is awesome. I'll do it for this one. That exiles, that exiles. Phoenix is still pretty great. Oh man, Rampage is good against everything except for Rekindling Phoenix. Everything like has its uses, you know, it's just all kind of situational. Like ev everything here and, and a lot of stuff still on the sideboard, like you can envision different reasons why or like what it would do that would help you out. I'm going to get rid of the Clarion though and a Shalai. Hey, once again. All right, we're not doing anything for a little while. We got a couple powerful mythics, though, for the late, late game. Don't want to see, like, Thief of Sanity. Okay, now we have removal for it. I was going to say, Thieva Sanity would dodge to Spark and Legion's End perfectly. Do need to hit our land drops, though. So, need to start drawing some lands. Any more of those? Nope, no more of those. Hmm. It's going to be tough to to beat, though. We have to discard a card each time with these Ravagers. I think it's either Chandra or Dawnbringer. That's maybe it's Hellkite. Yeah, we'll get rid of Hellkite. Mm. 
Inconceivable. My schemes are never ending. Yeah, disparking bolas gets those Vorthos juices flowing. <laughs> it's a nice one. was our best draw. So Butcher attacking the Chandra to put the Chandra to one means that I don't get to... Oh, wow. Wow. They let me keep Chandra at two? I have the best to way to to. I'm still dead, but surprised they let me do that. Through feud or feast, your blood is mine. Well, I guess I could have had Chandra stay at one. And then just die to the Dreadhorde Butcher attack. But I guess I could have Chandra stay at one there. Yeah, because this, this should flip and get get Chandra. I was just so surprised that that my Chandra didn't take a damage that I didn't recalibrate after I drew my card. Be yeah, either way, like that that's still just gonna get Chandra and we're gonna die. Stay back. I'm an <laughs> no pressure. So I could have had a, a Soren at like a little bit of life here. Yeah, Soren would be at would have been at two and would have been to tick up to four. Good game. I know they're saying good game, so I guess they have this one. Yep, that'll do it. We're going to be playing that kind of Grixis deck later on. It looked pretty sweet. It's the kind of Grixis deck we're going to be playing later on. It's hard to fit all those, all four of those, or sorry, all those four drops are awesome. It's hard to fit them in. Because they had Hostage Taker and Phoenix and Ravager. It's hard to fit all those into the deck. But they're all really good. We're playing Kitato. Friend of the stream. Whoa, not a flash deck. So this this should be Okay, well I should have played Kalia. I was already playing that. Okay, I need I guess I need to slow down a little bit. Um I think this is the Simic Quasi Reef that we played last night. I think that's what Kitato is playing here. I know Kitato is saying that they really liked the Simic Quasi Reef, and that's what this deck looks like here. So we drew the land for turn, which was a good draw step because we, we do need a fifth land. So maybe, maybe Arcalia 
you know, if we would have played Kalia last turn, maybe we, we don't get this extra land, and you never know. So I guess Doom Whisperer is our... F Wait, is Doom Whisperer our fastest clock? No, I guess Dawnbringer is our fastest clock. Because we get to attack with Dawnbringer and then play Resplendent Angel next turn and make another 4-4. So, you know, we get to put 7 power into play next turn. I guess technically 8 power. I guess technically 9 power. 9 power into play because of the, the pumps with Dawnbringer. We can do that and play another Tight Taker, another Chump Blocker. Yeah, MC, MCQ didn't go so well. Um, played a bunch of close games, didn't go our way, though. Playing against the aggro decks. We played Mono Red twice and Vampires once. That's a lot of life, but Resplendent and Lyra trumps Jade Light and Wild Growth. But they'll have two extra turn spells next turn or next. Creatures basically already have lifelink. Yeah, Direfully, yeah, so Direfully Daredevil or Tithe Taker. So Direfully Daredevil is a lot better later on in the game. Um, and it's, you know, good against, you know, decks playing spells, of course, and everything like that. But Tithe Taker is a better blocker early. It's a better card to play on turn two. Um, I know it doesn't have first strike, but, you know, it gets, it has the uh, whatever ability. The afterlife ability to get you a little bit of card advantage like that, too. You, know, you get to play it on turn two, and it still can get value for you when it dies. We're playing Daredevil on turn two. All you're doing is really just playing a. Um, you're just playing a two one. So with a deck that that's like filled with cards to play on turns three, four, and five, I want my two drop to be something I want, like I really want to play on turn two. And Daredevil is not not exactly that. It's not exactly a card that you really want to play on turn two. They need to draw like Cavalier of Thorns. That's the card that Kitato needs. If 
because just don't have don't have any attacks here. I mean, yeah, there's just no attacks here. Because Resplendent Angel is every end step, so they they attack. I can just chomp with a five five life linker. I gain five life. I and the five five life linker just comes right back. Cavalier Thorns could really slow me down, though. That's that's the card they need to find. Dueling you will be excellent research. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. All right, so going for Nexus combo. That's really bad. Let me aid your research. So we're going to have to take out Tamio. Ugh, they could make another Cavalier of Thorns. Gross. Gross. So that great turn for them here, you know, taking four turns and making a couple Cavaliers and having a Tamio. I was pretty comfortable with this game. I am no longer comfortable with this game. I would now... Now don't really think we're going to win. We got the four Nexus still, just 21 cards. It's going to be kind of tough to win here. See what we got here. All right, so darn, no removal. Go block, block. So I have to send at least four creatures at Tamio to kill Tamio. So two of my creatures will die, but we'll get one creature back. So we're going to lose one creature. I'm going to play Doom Whisper so we can dig. Um, not exactly sure what we're digging for. No, yeah, I don't even really know what we're digging for. I don't really have a good main deck card here honestly for this situation I have learned a little here
You honestly don't have anything. Like, obviously, Rang Angress Rampage, Legion's End, don't do anything. Like, Deafening Clarion is kind of my best. We'd have, like, Cast Down or Mortify. I guess. I guess it's Cast Down or Mortify. Or Clarion. Guess we'll try Clarion. It's like they get the Cavalier... Th like, the Cavalier of Thorns just grabs another Cavalier of Thorns, though. Like, I don't even know if I want to kill the Cavalier of Thorns, because it just grabs another one and just reduces their library. Hmm. Even more. Yeah, Lyra's legendary. Can't play another one. Don't have, like, Spark Double. Tamiyo's a little risky. It's basically, Tamiyo is saying, if you hit... You know, it's riskier than Cavalier Thorns. If they hit immediately with Nexus and get to keep on activating Tamiyo, then I'm gonna lose. Whenever whenever they get infinite turns, it doesn't doesn't matter what I have, even though it could just like completely waste Kitata's clock and you know win on time. Seek and find. But good, they they whiffed, so that's a great sign for us. Now we get to kill Tamio. Now it's gonna be really hard for them. There's still one Tamio left though, unless it's in exile. No. So that's why I was saying that Tamiyo is risky. Well, I guess I have Doom Whisperer that could activate it. Oh, well, Rampage is fine. Rampage doesn't do anything with Tamiyo in play, though, of course. So I gotta wait till Tamiyo leaves. this outcome. Wait, I missed lethal? Oh, by pumping angel? Oh. Yeah, I guess pumping angel did. I was thinking that just like with playing, yeah, if I just don't play Soren, that pump angel, because yeah, playing Soren, we would have been able to put them down to one, but. So even if, even if Kitato 
drew Tamio, that drew Nexus, and took the rest of the turns in the game there. Still would have been really hard to, to kill us. And also it's going to be really hard to kill us and finish the match in 30 minutes. Because even with like infinite turns, because I get the the 5-5 five, five lifelink chump blocker every turn also, remember, because it's going to be really hard to actually win that game. All right, Dress is in, Despark is in, Dreadhorde, um, Noxious Grasp. Type Taker can go. Rampage can go. I got Hellkite, I guess. I guess I could play this thing too. They're taking all the turns, give him an emblem. Yeah, I guess yeah, I guess Chandra could could just give him an emblem. <laughs> I like how y'all are cheering for team chat. That's cool. Is he got Tato as part of team chat? Team chat. Uh let's see. This is reasonable. Let's see. Let's go and dress here. Yeah, I don't really know why I brought in the dresses. That seems like not a good idea <laughs> right now. Especially they have Tamio in play. It doesn't do anything anyway. That's starting to seem kind of silly. Whiff again. Hey, didn't whiff. How about that? All right, and this is looking really good for us. Hopefully, no Cavalier Thorns or something like that. Because Soren plus double Resplendent Angel is pretty broken. I have come for vengeance and blood. <laughs> what a mess I've made. We can mortify one of these wild growth walkers away. Of course, if they have removal for the 4-4, though, 
and then get to kill Soren, then I am not doing as good, admittedly. Everything must go. But their deck doesn't really have removal. So don't have to worry about that too much. Yep. Oh, that's so much life, Link. Man, Resplendent Angel is so good. The weak feed the strong. It's so good. Kitato, no. All right, but our Kalia and friends deck is three and one. GG's, Kitato. All right, what do we got here? We got a mulligan. And we have a keep. I could see putting the Dawnbringer down to the bottom. And just like kind of assuming that one, like our, that our first Kalia will die and then we'll want the other Kalia kind of thing. But I'll put the Kalia down to the bottom. Yeah, Explore Package. Like, Standard has just gotten really powerful. Uh, it's good, kind of gotten more powerful than the Explore Package. Right now. Hey, Huang. We're playing Gates over here. Is this Nexus? Boo. Well, we're not really going to beat Nexus. Combo decks can beat slow mid range creature decks pretty easily. And that's what we got going on here. <laughs> yep, 3-2. <three>, <laughs> cool, yeah, you went on a streak with that cool with that uh, Demir flash deck the Kitato main. Nice. I don't think there's any delay for watching on mobile or like any more delay than normal. I think it should be the same whether you watch on mobile or watch on PC. As far as I know. So no reclamation is a good sign for us.
And we're dead. We had a good run. We attacked twice. Playing Simic Ramp, and I missed the early pressure that Explorer Package provided. I don't have Nexus, so I struggle against Field of the Dead decks because I play I think you turn 2 and 3, O3s oh, and 1-1s one that can't pressure. Um, probably need more counter magic than Jay Gomez. It's, that doesn't help against Field of the Dead decks, though. I mean, it does some. But yeah, maybe more counter magic. Yeah, like negates, disdainful strokes, all that kind of stuff. No tail should be discarded. All right, we're quitting with one more Nexus. Because, yeah, one more Nexus. This is over. We're not taking another turn. They got to look at 16 cards a turn for a Nexus. They're not going to whiff. Not going to be zero Nexuses in the top 16. And plus, well, they get another activation there. So really, they had. <clears throat> hmm. They had 20 for that next turn. So we can try Blood Sun. To stop as Kanta. I don't know if this will help too much, but we'll try it. No clock here. So why can see they take all the turns and use time for the game and then maybe by game three they run out of time? Because I'm also streaming and I'm playing 12 hours of Magic and I don't want to just sit sit here and, and do something that's that unentertaining for all of y'all that are just going to, you know, just sit here watch watch that. And also, I'm like I said, I'm, I'm playing, you know, a whole lot of Magic today and I don't want to waste my time doing that either. Like, I, I value my time higher than maybe eking out percentages so that they run out of time. I don't believe that that's worth it to do. I believe that's worth the 10 minutes of my life. That we can just move on. But if you're... Trying to do the absolute best thing to win. Yeah, I mean, with having a timer, making them perform all the turns is the thing to do.
<laughs> yeah, Time Walk was... That was printed before they realized how completely broken that is. <laughs> Time Walk's part of the Power Nine. Uh, cards that are kind of referred to as like the the original nine incredibly powerful broken cards. Just two mana, take an extra turn. <laughs> it's so good. Doom Whisperer is nice here where we get to surveil a bunch because we have a whole lot of life. <laughs> Time Walk should have had Jump Start. All right, so they get a couple, couple explorers here. That's all your permanents you control, too. It's not even just, like, creatures and planeswalkers. So, like, if they wanted, they could save enchantments with Mortify. They could save enchantments with that. Um... It's kind of about as good as we can do. So, it's basically what I'd rather duress or play Blood Sun. I could... Because, like, they, they're going to have to fog here, right? So, like, the two mana is taken up for fog. So, would I rather just get a Blood Sun in play and Mortify as Kanta? Or would I rather look for... Look for Duress? kind of think Blood Sun and Mortify... Dress doesn't necessarily win here. All right, so now I need to have a land on top. All right, that'll do. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do, if we get another turn, um, I am going to pay all my life and look for Chandra 6. So if we get another turn, that is what we are doing. Hooray. Mm -hmm. 
I guess Gideon... I should be playing Gideon. Yeah, I guess I should be playing Gideon. I don't know why I'm not. Yeah, I should have these Gideons in here. I don't know why those weren't. Gideon hits harder than other things, plus that minus six can exile stuff. Yeah, I don't know why that wasn't in my deck. That definitely should be. I did not get another turn, so we didn't get to go look for Chandra six. All right, draw white mana, please. White mana kitty. Yay, white mana kitty worked. All right, so this probably eats Veil of Summer. All right. Yeah, one mana crit to command. Yeah, no kidding. That is pretty decent. I walk a righteous path. I will lend you my strength. I believe in you. One mana, cryptic command. Counter target spell, draw a card. Yeah, we're hoping Gar we're hoping Gideon carries us. Share in my light. Getting another creature in play isn't super valuable. So we'll get the Blood Sun in play. Gideon can minus six this next turn. Exile as Kanto, or if they play Reclamation, exile that. This day. Yeah, Gideon's a lot better than having a Shalai. Definitely helped a lot more. see if they run out of fog effects it was kind of a little strange they didn't play anything before tithe taker okay they're just gonna have to i was gonna just take their turn anyway it wasn't root snare 
Looks like they're all about those fog effects, though. And GG's. Kalia getting there. We are 4 and 1. Kalia and friends, time to fight the final boss. Yeah, we, d we just don't beat Nexus, me, 20 minutes ago. That is true. That was so me 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Alright, final boss playlist time. Yeah, that is an aptly named card. Pause for reflection. Your Nexus deck lost to Angels. Pause for reflection. Aptly named. Uh, yeah, the pirate in that matchup could have taken like the chemist's insight. Could have taken their chemist's insight from their graveyard and cast it. That's what it could have done there. But usually, tight taker is gonna be gonna be better. All right, what do we have for our final boss? Who knows, maybe we'll never find out. Maybe we'll never find out. Arena needs another reset too. Slag's been pretty bad today. Is it like my Saturday morning internet is really bad or something? Maybe that's it. Maybe there's just like tons of people using the internet Saturday morning. I don't know. So it was like the earliest we've been on. Yeah, I'll be restarting a client after the after the match. This temple art is really cool. It kind of is like this should be the temple of mystery, you know, like with all the the, the clouds and everything there. This doesn't really look mysterious. Like this could be epiphany. Some realization. We didn't play Teamer Elementals yesterday. Ran out of time. So we didn't play it last night, but I was still quite happy with with my list for today, even though we didn't win too much. Main deck Veil of Summer, huh?
That Hydrocrasis is looking pretty mean over there. I am glad they're not playing the Hydrocrasis, though. So it looks like they're going to have to crace us for five here. They could send everything out at Soren and kill Soren. Looks like they'll just do a little bit of damage, though. <laughs> You're working up my appetite. Oh, really, it works. That's a good one. So we'll surveil Aurelia into the graveyard, go grab it. Embrace the bloodlust. Aurelia can make this thing a 6 4. So now we're attacking for 6 lifelink, which will also make another 4 4. That Doom Whisper Soren combo is pretty sweet. Following, you know, playing Soren and then following up with Doom Whisper and putting something into play. So we basically get to just kill that 5-5 five, five Krasis for free. And the 4-4 four, four replaces itself. Shot the 2-1. Soren only targets players if you think... Soren can't kill creatures. If that's what you're talking about, about shooting the 2-1. Seek shelter in my stewardship. Yeah, we should still be able to have lethal in the air. Unlikely my opponent can stop me. Especially considering they don't have mana. It's very unlikely. I, mean, I guess, do they gain enough life, though? Let's see, they're at 16. No, they did not. Short answer. I looked, I saw it. 4 and 6, that's 10. 16 right there. And then we have another 5 over here with Aurelia. Because the. It's a 4 4, or it's 4 5 with the mentor. Oh, they also have the Cloudkins here that gets to block. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's still enough, though. So, yeah, we, we're still good. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah.
<laughs> yeah, that was the worst block. But yeah, it didn't, it didn't matter what they blocked, but that was the worst one. So if they're Command the Dread Hoarding, I probably should be Command the Dread Hoarding too. That would only make sense. And then are we just taking out, we're just gonna take out Tithe Taker again? That's like a card that doesn't really matter. Yeah, I guess I, oh yeah, I guess I could have some Blood Suns. I guess they are doing that kind of thing too. So if we add in Blood Suns, what are we taking out from this? No, I'm not gonna play Blood Sun. We'll just we'll just let it go. The MCQ was five hours ago. Moxie. You can see in the top left how we did. Wasn't very good. Meow. Oh yeah, it's your lunchtime. Hawkeye's like, where's my food? So like, this is, you know, it's three o'clock Eastern right now. This is whenever I normally start streaming every day. And I feed Hawkeye right before I start streaming. This is lunchtime. So after this league, I need to get Hawkeye some food. Which, <clears throat> all, all we gotta do to finish this league is win this match. win this game, which will win in the match. <laughs> I you can you can probably tell Hawkeye Hawkeye's not starving over here. Don't have to be too worried about him. He's not starving. Hawkeye, we need lands. Red Kitty doesn't give lands. The White Kitty gives gives us lands. So I do think they very purposely have Veil of Summer available. Looks like they just kind of have nothing. Good job, Hawkeye. Had our opponent hasn't played anything like the whole game. They just played a Wild Growth Walker in five turns.
Vampirism is a useful trait. <laughs> you named you named your cat Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Dude, this boss music in Final Fantasy VII was so killer. The Sephiroth music here. We are victorious, Hawkeye. Five wins. All right, getting that victory fanfare going. Five win dream there for Kalia and friends. Say so playing through this, the Angras Rampage, not very, not particularly impressive. I think basically everything looked good except for the Angras Rampage. I liked everything else. Um, the thing is, is like, I don't want to replace, like, Bedevil would be a lot better, but I don't want to replace it with Bedevil. We can't really play three mana stuff. Um, I don't know if, like, we're, like, maybe just have, like, Noxious Grasp and Dispark and stuff like that in the main deck. I don't know exactly what I want to do with that slot, but, like, the Rampages weren't very good. Maybe some Baffling Ends. Maybe just play some Baffling Ends. I don't know. No, I mean, well, the Rampage is supposed to be my Planeswalker removal. I don't know, Elder Spell to Spark. I don't know. But I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to play any more threes, fours, or fives. So like anything to change would have to be two mana things. Um but I don't know exactly what to do with it. But it wasn't it wasn't great. Okay. Um but everything else though was pretty good. Kali was a lot of fun to play. Soren was awesome. Resplendent Angel, absolutely amazing. Um, Embodiment of Agonies didn't get to really shine here in this league, but that's okay. All right, time for me to go get Hawkeye some food. Look at him. He's all wanting his food. All right, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons. Hawkeye would appreciate that. But that's it here for Hawkeye and I, for Kalia and friends. He keeps on looking at me like, I'm hearing my name. What are you saying? I'm hearing my name. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.